Welcome to our live stream audience. We are here at ReFest 2020, live stream only. Um, and right now, uh, we're working, we're, we're playing with Terry Dame's uh, piece, Melting. Um, and we have Terry here on Live Lab. Um, here, why don't you guys, yeah. So, Terry, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> that was entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> So can you tell us, can you introduce yourself and tell us where you are and, and share a little bit about this piece? Sure thing. Um, my name is Terry Dame and I am coming to you live uh, from Roscoe, New York, actually, where I have a studio. Uh, so the, the stream is babbling outside and uh, yeah, all is well here in my little dirt road. <clears throat> So uh, shall I tell you a little bit about melting? Tell us about melting. Okay. Um, so melting actually came about uh, as a result uh, at a residency up not far from here in Hurleyville, New York um, at the uh, Hurleyville Art Center Maker Lab residency. I was there uh, a couple of years ago uh, for two months and it was uh, just about this time of year, actually February, March, part of April. And the whole time I was there, uh, it rained, 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 and then it would freeze and get really cold, and then it would warm up and melt. And, and so um, part of what I was doing there, the resident was on an amazing uh, walking trail, an old rail trail that they'd created a walking trail out of. So every day I went out and did field recording, and 99.9% .9 of what I was recording every day was some kind of water melting dripping, you know, the, it, uh, it was kind of an amazing trail. It cut through, uh, you know, straight through some pretty serious rock formations. So it would just form these incredible icicles that then would drip, drip, drip in all, you know, different sizes and pitches and rhythms. And so my whole thing with most of my work is deals with found sound and found objects. Um, so while I was there, uh, you know, I didn't know what I was going to do with it, but I was, my quest was sort of to create uh, work, kind of part of a body of work that I've been playing with for a while now called son Sonified Geography. So it's gathering field recordings and sounds and discard objects from the same geographical area and then making um, some kind of interactive installation out of it. So um, that was sort of what I had in mind when I went to the residency. And what's fun about that is you never know what you're going to get in terms of sound or junk. Um, and uh, so I was ending up with all this melting sounds and um, I've been working with recycled objects in my musical and installation life for 20 years. So when you 
do that, people are constantly trying to give you things, <laughs> old discarded things. So a friend of mine had um, uh, called and asked if I wanted a uh, hundred of these little soda stream, where am I? Uh, CO2 used canisters from like a soda maker. Um, and I said, sure, because I actually think they're quite beautiful. Um, I love metal and, you know, so I accepted. And another offering that I had been given was a giant pile of recycled wire. So I, you know, mulled around for a while. And, and the third sort of element to all of this, I was, you know, experimenting with various kinds of interactive work. Um, I had previously been making sort of sculptural musical instruments that I was performing on. And, and so I was playing with that idea, but kind of looking to make installation work out of it. Um, and I ended up with this, um, hanging them. And uh, these are, so what's happening there is uh, those are capacitance sensors. So touch sensors um, that for those that don't know, you know, it works in very much the same way as the touch screen on your phone works. Basically the technology is uh, up top where you can't see, but there's a, um, an, uh, an Arduino mega. So a tiny little micro uh, controller that's up there um, that's running a capacitance sensing code. And it basically is quite simple. Um, anything that conduct, uh, can conduct electricity, like metal and water and our bodies, um, can carry a charge. That's what capacitance is, the ability to store a charge. So those little canisters being metal have their own innate charge. And then the code on the Arduino has a threshold and when a, a human touches the canister, you add your body's charge to that and it kicks it over the threshold and it uh, tells um, the Arduino says, you know, send, a, send an on signal to trigger something in this case of sound. So I'm using a little MIDI to serial bridge called hairless MIDI bizarrely named, I don't know why. Um, and then uh, the sounds of my samples I've crafted in, in just found the nicest sounds and and uh, those are sitting in, in Ableton Live. So that's what's that's where the sounds are stored. So um, yeah, and, and it's at Terry. And yeah. Well, I guess we can uh Thank Terry with a small, uh, short piece. Cool. And now we're going to move over here to uh, Old Joe's map. Um, and oh, wait, Terry's back. <laughs> Terry, what else I do you want to say? What else do you want to say? <laughs> You're back. We just had a nice uh, musical interlude. I don't know what part of that. Um, anyway, so you know, it's it has a serious message about melt, you know, global warming, kind of melting, and the current state of flux that the world is in as a result of us habitating here. But as you can see, it's kind of playful as well. The red, what the red wires are on loops. So if you grab one of those, those are looped sounds. And then the other ones are single sounds. So you can actually make kind of a nice musical composition out of it if you uh, spend a little time with it. Beautiful. Great. And it's sort of a funny time, a funny moment in time to be uh, putting up a touch-based installation in this moment that we're not uh, supposed to touch anything. Um, I was thinking about that, and I, my final thought is, you know, it's it, it's further further uh, an ironic message, you know, because it sure does feel like the world is melting down on every level right now. So melting, extrapolated, however you like, but um, yeah, um, make art, be creative, stay strong, and wash your hands. What can you say? <laughs> That's the message. Cool. But thank you guys so much for having me. Thank you, Terry. We're so happy to see you in Roscoe. Roscoe, yes. Roscoe, Trout Town, USA. 
Cool. Okay. Well, we'll be playing music with this for the next, uh, you know, day and a half. Enjoy. See.